Guardians of the Galaxy and I really, really liked it. And by far one of my favorite characters and a lot of other people's favorite character was Groot. I like plants. I love the idea of a living, breathing plant. I really wanted to do something inspired by Groot or the baby Groot, which I've heard people call Grootling because there's a dancing Groot and it's really, really cute. It's so cute. This week we're going to be doing Groot inspired nail art, which I feel the need to warn you, although I can paint shapes on my nails, I cannot quite seem to paint my nails, like the whole, whole of it, without getting some all over my cuticle. Anyway, for this week for our Baby Groot nail art, we are going to need the following. Black nail polish, green nail polish, brown nail polish, a mattifying top coat, an old fan brush or a makeup sponge if you have it a small dotting tool or a toothpick, a large dotting tool or the head of a round pin. And if you're into nail art, a nice base coat is a good investment. First step is to paint your nails with base coat. If that's something you're into, I think it makes my nail art last longer, so I do it. All right, once the base coat is dry, paint all four fingers black and then paint your thumb tree brown. And sadly enough, yes, that's what it looks like when I'm trying. I know it gets all over my cuticle and yes, it looks horrid, but if you think that looks horrid, check out my right hand. Looks worse, doesn't it? Once your base colors are dry, drip out some brown nail polish onto a palette. I use scrap paper and then using a large dotting tool, draw some lines and squiggly shapes all over your nail, keeping them fairly close together to imitate a wood grain or like the series of vines that Groot seems to be made out of. Try to keep the black intact, but it's okay if they touch in some places. Again, it's all meant to look very organic and very nature-like. And the awesome thing about that for nail art means it doesn't have to be perfect. Now drip some green out and using an old fan brush or if you like a makeup sponge also works well, I just like my fan brush better, you're going to basically speckle the brown spots green to give them a more vine-like or moss-covered appearance. Try to keep the black as clean as you possibly can, but it's okay if a little gets in there. Now the thumb, you're once again going to use the fan brush and kind of sponge it on and speckle it on, but try and concentrate the green up at the top so it's almost like a really abstract French tip. When you're done, your nails should look vaguely like this at this point. Now using a small dotting tool and some black nail polish or a black striper if you have it, draw a big smiley mouth at the bottom of your thumbnail. Now using that same small dotting tool and the same black nail polish, we're going to start drawing glued spines on the top of his head. I like to start in the center and then draw the vines with a curving motion, always having them leaning slightly towards the center. That'll help it match the shape of his head and actually match the shape of your thumbnail, saving you some work. Just make sure that they're long enough to be distinct. Now for the magic part. Take out your mattifying top coat and paint over all your nails. Make sure you wait until each layer is completely dry before doing this, otherwise you're just going to completely blur your nail polish, which will be really sad if you've gotten to this point and everything's gone well and then it all gets destroyed by your mattifying top coat. See how much more organic and wood-like it looks just with the simple add of a mattifying top coat? Now using some black nail polish and a large dotting tool, go ahead and dot Groot's eyes in. Try and keep them centered via the mouth. And now, you're all done! However, if you're me, you're covered in nail polish and you need to fix that, like, now. Yep, much better after I take some nail polish remover and a Q-tip to my cuticles. Oh, he's so cute! And now he can follow me everywhere, just like I always wanted. Yay! 